He was just playing the part of Kiriko Doji. I don't know what he's up to. But if I help him, I can save our homeland from this war. This is it, all right. Though, it's a far cry from the school I remember. Now, I don't know if he's here or not. Still, I should go around the back. Keep a low profile. This building had just been finished when I knew it. Now, well, it's certainly seen better days. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? It's strange to say, but it does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so far beyond what we knew. It feels like just yesterday. I walked these very halls to pick up Keitaro. And now, four decades have passed in a blink of an eye, like a fairy tale. And this young lady would be? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. I'm Kiriko Doji. Why, well, miss, you're... you're stunning. M my name is Takatoshi Hijiyama. I'm going to remember this day forever. Because... it was the day you came into my life. You're a funny guy. But you seem pretty incredible yourself, Takatoshi-san. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know about that. So what's got you all bashful and smiley in here? Kiriko-san. I mean, Okino. You really are a funny guy. Um... You could have just taken a nap at my place. I didn't think you'd come running after me. I'm not about to let you get away from me. I showed you my hideout. Why bother trying to run now? Still don't trust me, huh? I want to know everything about what you're trying to accomplish. I see. Well, fair enough. The question is, are you even going to believe me? I have already learned for myself that time travel is real. At this point, nothing surprises me anymore. No more secrets. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to stop the apocalypse. A force is already on its way here to destroy the world. And they've got more numbers on their side than we'll ever have. What are they? I'm not really concerned with what they are. What I want to know is, why are they coming? The answer is in something called the Decode. Let me try and break this down for you. There are other humans with modifications, like you and Murakun. And they're beaming out these signals, calling the destroyers here. Even though they have no idea. The other threat you said the Sentinels were meant to fight. Are you saying it's them? These destroyers? They're a huge threat, all right. And these people with modifications, like me, they're calling them here? But weren't those implants only added so we could pilot the Sentinels in the first place? Well, I made the Sentinels, sure. But I'm not the one who modified all of you. There's too many unknowns with the Inner Lossiter. That's what I'm looking into. So this Inner Lossiter... It's like a little network of tiny machines. It has to be implanted into your, your body. So what do you want me to do now? Everybody's supposed to be in class right now. You'll stick out if you're on school grounds. We can't have you wandering around where staff can see you. It'd definitely be a liability for me, at least. 
there will be more of a crowd when lunch period rolls around. Until then, you should hang out here. <sighs> Sleeping face down on a school desk can't be good for my neck. Mm, Okie now. Still no sign of him. Noodles. He told me to wait until noon. But I can only waste time napping for so long. It's quiet outside. Maybe everyone's still in their classes. I'm trying to avoid being seen here, so I'm not supposed to go outside, but... <sighs> Come on, Takatoshi! You can't just let Okino tell you what to do. I can't wait any longer. So basically... You mean... Uh... And that means the... Huh? A student's duty should be to so focus on their studies. You mean, this kind of hanky panky has no place here. Is... Really? <sighs> Not that that girl wasn't cute, I so suppose, but right? clearly mean... she has no eye for men. But then that means the dream is. Really? One? Said you'd be waiting here around now. Even stuffed a letter in my shoe locker, right? Yes. Shit, she's cute. Okay, so, uh, what's this about? Um, I like you. Uh, seriously? You? Me? Yes. Kisaragi's bullshit was starting to get to me. Maybe I'm kind of a stud after all. What? No! Kiriko-san! That rat bastard! You don't go for another fella's girl! Huh? 
What's your problem? Hey! Put him up! Uh, hold on! Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, did I just... I can't believe you, Hijiyama-kun. This is... I mean... Don't tell me. You were jealous. I... Of, of course not. I'm sorry for hitting him. You can... Like whoever you like. It's none of my business. Where's this coming from? You think I like him just because he's a guy? Uh -huh. Actually, you couldn't have picked a better time. This works. Nenji Ogata secured, despite complications. Now, help me get him into the old school building. False pretenses or not, that confession really got to him. Even knocked out, he's still blushing. I almost feel bad for him. So, that confession was just so you could analyze him, then? Why else would I do it? Destroyers. So he's implanted with the same technology as me? He's going to destroy the world? He's sending signals to the things that will. At least I thought he was. Something's off. Nenji Ogata here is not transmitting any kind of command signal. Looks like the decode signature has been changed. That's bad. Now I'm gonna have to check everyone's individual codes. More work I don't need. What changes if you can figure that out? We saved the world. Or find a way to do that, at least. So this... Don't we have the Sentinels? You said you created them to save us all. That's right. But we've already thrown 19 Sentinels at them and lost. Ugh. We need a bigger game changer than one or two Sentinels. That alone's not gonna make a difference. You did your homework on the Pacific War. You get it, right? When you're up against numbers like these, what can you do? <sighs> the Sentinels are meant to be a last line of defense. There. We've got a clue. But... I can't access it from this side. He might be the only one who can. So, where does that leave us? <sighs> Morning, Hijiyama-kun. Okino, what's going on? I looked at Nenji Ogata. He didn't have anything for me. But I took a look at your code. And I have to say, it's been very thought-provoking. Untie me this instant, or I swear, I'll... Why are you getting so worked up now? This isn't all that different from the old days in the factory lab. Just the two of us, enjoying some quality time, right? What? Even if that's partially true, things are different now. Untie me, before I really get angry. Well, that's weird. You sound like you're mad, but these numbers don't lie. You're actually kind of enjoying this, aren't you? Being all tied up at the mercy of your crush? You're such a perv, Hijiyama-kun. Stop toying with me! Well, why don't we see what's really in your heart? What the? Whoa, you really can't stop thinking about me, huh? Don't be ridiculous! I get it. You're lying to yourself. All to protect your self-image, right? But you can hide all you want. Your physical data gives it away. Don't lie to me! 
Fine. Why don't we take a deeper look? Stop. Wow. This really says Stop it all. Stop it! Stop, please! Like I've woken up from a terrible dream. And it looks like he's left me behind again. When does he even sleep? The more I find out, the more dangerous he seems. Forcing his way into someone's head and messing around? He's unhinged! If I've judged the walking distance right, I should arrive there around noon. I need to save up. Even a small reserve would be enough. I see. Okino was right. I just need to slip in the old staff entrance. Seems like nobody will spot me. Now, where is Okino? Go. What's going on? Why do I feel like this? I see you made a friend. Eh, just a stray cat, that's all. I just gave it a little food. Now it shows up here all the time, so... I ended up bringing food for it, every day. I suppose I can relate. You used food to toy with both of us. What? You don't like me taking care of you? I didn't ask you to do that. I'd better get going. Going where? Oh, right. Are you sticking around until Shintaro's done eating? Mind tossing the empty can for me? Shintaro? That's his name, yeah. I'm counting on you. Oh. There's something under the can. Looks like a hundred fifty yen. Oh. Okino. Are you still trying to look after me? Yakisobapon, please! Oh, no doubt about it. This is the same Yakisobapon from back then. I can't go on like this. 
I'll starve to death. <sighs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Maybe on the main street, I could find some scraps in the garbage. <clears throat> what am I thinking? I am an Imperial soldier. The pride of the Empire. I can't dig through trash like some animal. I'd be better off dead. Still, I'll never find a paying job in this state. I shouldn't have let the heat get to me. Taking that bath in the river was my biggest mistake. That cold left me out of commission for a while. And now it's been three days since my food ran out. I couldn't even find Kiriko-san in the end. Is this how I die? Alone? Wasting away? Excuse me. Um... Are you okay? Oh. Uh, never better. Was that your stomach? Uh... <laughs> I know. What's this? I bought too much of this at lunch. It's yakisoba pan. Yaki soba pun? I, I can have this? If you'd like. I. I suppose I'll take you up on that. Yaki soba pun. <laughs> it's so good! Impossibly good. It's delicious. How could anything so delicious exist in this world? <laughs> I wanted to savor the taste, but I practically inhaled that whole piece. Now that I think about it, I never even got to thank her. My yakisoba pun angel. This should be good. I can eat in peace here. Still, I can't believe I got the last one. I suppose it's good karma for my model behavior. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Did you go buy that yourself? Okino. Now. Time to finally enjoy my... Uh... Uh... You changed clothes? Wow, I can feel the disappointment from here. Want me to get back into the skirt? I don't care. It's just that the skirt's kind of breezy. I don't have much on underneath it. Makes me feel pretty exposed, you know? I can't just walk around in the wind and traffic like that. Just think of what could happen. Stop that. You're clearly enjoying this, no matter what you say. And you don't have to be so... lewd about it. Do you... want half of this yakisoba pond? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Isn't that your favorite food, anyway? You enjoy it. Well, if you're sure. You really are a nice guy, Hijiyama-kun. Okay, time to dig in. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. This is it. This is the taste that saved me. I have to thank the Yakisoba Pond Angel. If I ever see her again, I need to thank her personally. Hmm? No, wait. I did meet her. But when? Good 
Good grief. You're still going to keep trying then? Of course. Is it possible he really doesn't know anything? There's still residual data in there from the switch. If I can figure out who's sending out the signal, then maybe I can stop it or even control it. Where are you going now? The convenience store near the station. You haven't eaten since noon, right? I'll go get us some snacks, help change things up. Any requests? Yakisoba pan. So much for changing things up. Haven't you tried anything else from this time? Don't make fun of me. I, I like plenty of foods. I just haven't eaten any of them yet, that's all. Wow, can't argue with that logic. Who's there? A female student? What is she doing out so late? More importantly, what's she doing here? Wait, have we met somewhere? <clears throat> She's the girl who saved me! She's the Yakisoba Pond Angel! Excuse me. Oh, uh, please wait! I'm afraid the second floor isn't quite... Uh... I'm sorry. <clears throat> Yakisoba Pond Angel! Why? Senpai told me earlier, there's a second Juro Izumi from another world. He transferred his consciousness into an android. So that must have been what I saw. But still, why did it look just like my grandma when she was younger? Hey, Juro. now you live inside me that day at the shrine you jumped out of that robot and possessed me what do you think i am a ghost i had nowhere else to go if it were up to me i would have picked a more welcoming host tell me the truth this isn't about my lost memories is it you're not trying to restore them you're giving me someone else's what are you talking about? They're... Juro's memories. In other words, yours. The other Juro Izumi. <sighs> you know, this one's three times older than you. You know... We can't have you causing a scene here. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Miss Morimura. <gasps> Chihiro Morimura. 
That's right. She's the one I saw in my dream. Is she... Excuse me. Uh, Karabikun. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Juro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is... something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not for you, san It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time that Shibakun was inside of me? Or rather, Juro Izumi was. <gasps> you talk too much. You think you can just walk in here and screw everything up? I'm not afraid to shut your mouth. Kurabekun? <sighs> Kurabekun? If the woman from my dream is actually our teacher, then Tsukasa Okino must be real too. <sighs> Where have I seen him before? That's right. There was a guy standing by the vending machines earlier. He looked just like Tsukasa Okino. Tsukasa Okino, right? You must be mistaken. You even sound like him. You were in that UFO with Juro Izumi, right? You're not making any sense. Sorry, but I don't have time for this. If you'll excuse me. Wait! The UFO wasn't the only time. I know I've met you somewhere else. That's right. I remember now. Prisoner E-426, face forward. The drug has been administered. The perp cannot fight back. Do not be alarmed. It is safe to enter. Prisoner E-426, look up while we're speaking to you. Or would you rather bear the brunt of the electric chair? So this man's the culprit? He's a murderer. He bombed Shikishima, killing countless people. We managed to catch him, but his identity is still unknown. Furthermore, his testimony makes no sense. That's why I've requested your assistance. The name's Onishi. I'm in charge of this investigation. I appreciate your help. Mr. Tsukasa Okino. <sighs> tsukasa -kun. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? No, I'm afraid I've never seen him before. All right then. Your biometrics lead me to believe you're being honest with us. Why did you bring me here? Well, we used a truth serum on the guy. He started saying your name over and over. He also mentioned a student by the name of Chihiro Morimura. This is her photo. Do you recognize her? No. We'll be requesting her cooperation soon enough. But it'll have to wait until next week. She's currently out of the country. In any case, thank you for joining us today. I may ask for your presence again if any new info turns up. Of course. You are free to go. Follow the signs back to the waiting room. <sighs> Do not be alarmed. The perp cannot fight back. <gasps> Mr. 
Mr. Juro Izumi. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? How would I? All I know is... he's a terrorist bomber. Well, we took a look at your DNA. The two of you are a perfect match. It was quite a surprise. What? There's a distinct possibility that one of you is a clone. That's ridiculous. What does he have to say about it? According to his testimony, he is, in fact, you from the future. As for his motive, he claims he had to commit this crime to prevent the emergence of Kaiju. Kaiju? Huh? Excuse me for a moment. What is it? We're in the middle of an investigation. <clears throat> what? An evacuation order? It's on the news? Like he's awake. Perfect. I'm almost done. What's going on? Hey, what is this? Calm down, please. High blood pressure generates noise in the scan. Tsukasa Okino? I remember now. I was attacked out of nowhere. Sorry about that. It was the only way. This isn't the most welcoming place, is it? I can't imagine you would have come willingly. You're Tsukasa Okino, aren't you? I saw you in my dream and... You got left behind. I knew there was something odd about you. But that dream of yours is even more surprising than I expected. Juro Izumi, shifting in cycles. There's only one person those memories could have come from. I'm glad I looked into this. To think he'd seek refuge within Juro himself. Do you... know him? We call him 426. As of now, he exists as sheer consciousness. That is to say, he lives in your injected nanomachines. At some point, he got in and took over the system area. Go ahead and ask him yourself. Ugh. Shippakun. So this is the guy. He's not quite what I imagined. Don't be deceived. He can alter his appearance however he pleases. You guys can see him? He's under my control now. He can't hurt you anymore. Jeez, Juro. Why you gotta be so obtuse? Tell us the purpose of your disguise. He's trying to take over my mind. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not the one who wanted that. Chihiro Morimura is. Our teacher? She wanted to transplant my memory backups into you. Whatever she could do to match your personality with mine. But Tamao Kurabe didn't like the idea. She created a new personality. The one you have now. But you were using videotapes to alter my memories. Yeah, well, the backups weren't meshing with your simulated personality. You almost had a breakdown, man. So I decided to turn him into something a little more concrete. Something your current self would understand. You should thank me for saving your ass. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Why did you try to help me? Well, if Morimura's plan did work out, there'd just be another copy of me running around. 
Besides, I don't want to be left watching over your unstable mess. I won't tolerate being used any longer. I'm sick of it. 426. For better or worse, she's given up on the Sentinel Project. Her interest in Juro Karabe has waned. But the Sentinel Project is the only option we have. Wrong. Sentinels can't save us alone. Then what can? You're talking as if you know the answer. I do. I've found an effective means for our survival. Would you like to hear it? What we call the UFO? I know who programmed it. It was a certain someone named Tsukasa Okino, back in 2188. 2188? It's hard to believe from looking at you now. But he was quite the sloppy programmer. When he designed the environment management system, he borrowed a portion of it from something else. That particular portion contains the D code. It's what's summoning the kaiju. That part of the code was never supposed to be accessed. Uh, well, it was. Where was this code reused from? It was a little outdated, even for its time. But it's a little sim game based on mighty kaiju daimos. A daimos game? You're telling me a video game has control over the automated factories? That's how the kaiju are being produced? Where do you think the name daimos came from? It's not a coincidence, you know. Up until now, we've been forced to play a game we can't win. But just imagine. What if we gained access to the greater system? We've had limited control over it so far. If we fix that, we'll be able to fight on an equal playing field. Think about it. Each time we destroy an enemy, we'll get some kind of meta prize. Like scoring points. With those, we can use the automated factories to strengthen our sentinels. Points, huh? Let's just call them meta chips for now. I still can't trust you. Fine, leave what you want. I don't need your help anymore. Sorry for wasting your time. Do you have any proof of your claims? Uh... There was a log on it, but it's gone. <sighs> You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony... ...in a video game? That's it, Hijiyama! Huh? You saw the log, didn't you? Hijiyama-kun... What was that log all about? You wanna find out? Go help that idol who's stuck in orbit. <sighs> well, it's about that time. I need to get going. What? Don't worry. He can't do a thing. Maybe. But a guy like him probably planned ahead. Oh, give the boy a prize! You can be surprisingly sharp at times, Hijiyama. Uh. Hokino! Uh. Sorry. You're... Juro! Thank goodness! I made it in time. Yeah, thanks to me talking their ears off. Did you walk through Tar to get here? I'm doing exactly as you told me. Foul-mouthed cat. Did you say cat? Don't worry about erasing his memory. What? But then... What are you talking about? Let's go. Relax. I won't erase your memories either. So it's her. She's the one who's been cooperating with him. Open the airlock. Hijiyama, respond please. I need you to open it. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, Yakushiji. Hijiyama, open the B2 airlock. I'm afraid I can't do that. 
you're well aware of the reason. We're not infected. The vitals detected by your suit tell me otherwise. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Yakushiji. Fine, I may be infected. But my daughter isn't. Please check her. It's true, she's not showing any signs of infection just yet. So you'll let her in, right? Please! Unfortunately, she is likely still in the incubation period. Just save my daughter, I'm begging you! <sighs> it's not a risk we can afford to take. You and I, we're comrades, aren't we? We've been to hell and back together. If it's the last thing I ask of you, Please, Hijiyama. I'm sorry, Yakushiji. You must understand. <sighs> Hijiyama, halfway through the airlock control. Major Izumi. <clears throat> Izumi-san, I had a feeling you would say that. So I've sealed the airlock on my end. I can't allow you to infect this colony. Don't jump to conclusions. I'm the one getting out. I'll grab a shuttle and retrieve his daughter. We'll give it 24 hours. If she does turn out to be infected, then we'll never return. Simple as that. <clears throat> I can't accept this. It's an order, Hijiyama. Sorry, Yakushiji. You're going to have to leave your daughter with me. In the meantime, You'll need to return to the pod you came here in. Are you alright with that? I trust you with her life. My daughter. <sighs> My Megumi. I'll protect her at all costs. I promise. No matter what happens... I intend to fulfill that promise. Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. explain a thing, do I? Are you really okay with this? Of course not. I want in on the action, too. And yet, you're entrusting it all to me. Even though they kind of turned you into a sissy, in the end, you're still Juro, just like me. I've accepted it. We've all got to play with the hands we're dealt. Saka's not going to be able to handle him alone. Go for it, Juro. What's going to happen to you? Piloting a Sentinel takes a hell of a lot of brain power. If your nanomachines are focused on that, there won't be much processing power left. In other words, I won't be able to talk to you anymore. But you've got my memories, right? You know what needs to be done. The rest is up to you. You're right. I'll do it. I guess I'll be going then. Right. Put your game face on, Juro. We've taken turns for the last time. Try not to get a game over. Sentinel number 13, activate. Yeah. <laughs> 
Shall we get a bite to eat? Uh, yeah, good idea. You can choose, Miwako. <sighs> Is something wrong with Sami-chan? First you helped me look for that record. Now this. I feel like you've been extra nice to me lately. Oh, come on, don't overthink it. I just figured you That's know. right. We lost the fight and ran away. You know all the best 2089. Hmm. A giant you have... Are you sure? Every day. <sighs> you chan's sure my good friend. She's gentle. Of course. Usami-chan sits at the... In that case. You cool with that, Iori? Yes. Is that okay? Sure. What do you feel like today, Miwa-chan? You're about to find out. Places didn't open till late. They don't, but you can still order yakitori for takeout. I've been wanting to try it forever. It's so good. Whoa, you're right. It's hot off the grill and charred just right. What is this, a festival? Feels weird to walk around with this. You're right. People are giving us looks. They say high school girls can get away with anything. But this is embarrassing. Just try a bite, Usami-chan. <sighs> oh. mm. Whoa, that is good! Mm. I love the sauce. Well then, now that that's taken care of... Do you have something to tell us, Iori-chan? Huh? Don't think we can't tell. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Come on, spill the beans. I thought we were friends, Iori-chan. Are you not going to tell us what happened with your crush? We have a right to know! Did you at least get his name? Don't tell me. You just ran up to him and confessed. Uh... His name is... A. Sekigahara. Sekigahara? Of all people. You know him, Usami-chan? Well, uh... Let's just say you should stay away from that guy. Why? He's not a normal high school kid. He's involved in some shady business. I... I know our ways of life are worlds apart. Uh, it may be dangerous. It may be stupid. But I can't stop how I feel. Yuri. Fuyusaka. Huh? Sekigahara-kun! Come with me. What? But... You. What do you want with Yuri? Tell me, Kisaragi. There's no time to explain. Just come. Please, Fuyusaka. <sighs> Iori-chan, follow your heart. If you need to go, then go! Uh, right. Do you still have those dreams? Premonitions you told me about. Yes. They're not actually premonitions. They're the memories of Chihiro Morimura. Our teacher? You received them in a memory transplant. <sighs> no way. Future technology does have that capability. You mean Miss Morimura is from the future? Correct. 
Just as you saw in your dreams. If that's true, are Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun the same? Kurabe? You're acquainted with Tamao-san? Tamao? No, I meant Juro Kurabe from my class. Juro. So that's it. Why did I have a memory transplant? If I had to guess, no. It's better you hear it from her directly. From Miss Morimura? We'll be seeing her soon. She's at the park? Hey, wait! Looks like we got here first. Let's wait here. Hmm. What is it? Um... Hey, Sekigahara-kun. Would you mind if I called you... A-kun? If that's what you want. Just like you. Right here in Ashitaba City. Well, 80 years into the future, that is. You saw it, right? The wreckage. It'll happen here any day now. Just as you saw in your dreams. This town will come under attack by the Daimos. If those dreams were Miss Morimura's memories, that's why you both came here, right? To fight the kaiju. Not Morimura. Not anymore. At this point, it's up to us. Us? The compatible ones. Those capable of altering this world. You're one of them. But... This world is beyond saving. Huh? Would you like to come with me? We can go back 16 years and try again. The city may go down, but it won't take us with it. Sixteen more years should be enough time to prepare. We'll win next time. Miwa what about Miwa-chan? She's still here. And so are my parents. What would happen to them? They'll be attacked by the Daimos, and that'll be it. But your parents aren't real. <sighs> Chihiro Morimura came here from Sector 1. You're no different. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> They're my family. If you decide to stay here, you'll perish along with them. <sighs> I don't have a choice, do I? In that case, I'll do it. Just like in my dreams. I'll fight and protect everyone! And how do you plan on doing that? Um. Juro has no memory of what happened. But I expect you'll have his help. You mean Kurabe-kun? What about you? Won't you be fighting too? Ryoko-san and I... We don't have much time left. I can't afford to stay around. Oh... That's the kind of guy I am. I don't deserve your love. Do you get it now? <sighs> Akun. Um. Well. You know what? I'll go check if Miss Morimura is here yet. Yusaka-san. She looks just like in my dreams. Explain. Why did you bring her here? To expose your secrets. She has a right to know. Miss Morimura. Hmm. 
Go on. Tell her. Every... Is it true? Are my dreams really your memories? <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? If you're not gonna talk, I'll do it. You wanted to write your memories and personality onto Fuyusaka, right? So you could someday take over. What? She was trying to assume your identity. Fine, I'll explain. That was my intention. But things have changed. Oh? Operation Aegis is all we have left. So then... What's going to happen to me? Well, I hadn't gotten to the final step. You'll continue on as Iori Fuyusaka. You do carry my memories within you. But even that process was left incomplete. Juro made sure of it. Thanks to him, my memories are nothing but dreams to you. You mean... the Kurabe-kun I saw in my dreams? 426. Did you perform a memory transplant on him, too? No. I have nothing to do with his current state. If it were up to me, I would have changed him back into the old Izumi-kun. Oh... Your memories just hit me. I understand how you feel. Is that why you transplanted the memories of Tamao Kurabe? It can't be. Tell me your real objective. She's not lying about her feelings. I can tell. Yes, I transplanted memories into Tamao Kurabe and Shu Amiguchi. I had to deliver on a promise I made. But there has to be a reason they were compatible. That's what I need to know. That's why I called you here. <sighs> Tell me. The truth is, I am no longer human. <sighs> when the reset occurred, the world that I was in was taken over. At that time, the real me died. Then what are you now? An illusion produced by universal control. That's all that's left of me. You're an illusion? I, I don't understand. How did that happen? Isn't Sector Zero supposed to prevent that? Going there allows you to escape to the next world. The concept of living through a reset is something of a misunderstanding. In short, it's not possible. Sector Zero is unique. Going there is not akin to a typical sector shift. Instead, it scanned me in as data. And with that data, Universal Control did its work. It created a perfect replica of me in the next world. So that's what a loop really is. There are 15 humans capable of carrying out the plan. What plan? The plan made in the year 2188 to continue the species. But I'm no longer a part. I'm nothing but a doll held captive in the five sectors. I'm incapable of fulfilling my mission. So you turn to the version of you who was born into this world. Iori Fuyusaka. In time, she and you would be one and the same. That's how you plan to reclaim your humanity. Seki Gahara-kun. I gather you intended to make use of Sector Zero as well. You would be correct. And you planned to put a stop to Operation Aegis, didn't you? Yes. By killing you. Huh? Are you going to shoot me right here and now? You can't do that! <gasps> if Operation Aegis were put into motion, this world would be cut off from Universal Control. What would become of you then? Data stored in Sector Zero can function independently of UC. In other words, you'll continue to live, human or not. So that's the way it is. Ryoko-san and I, we never had a way out in the first place.
Kun, I'll protect you. Let's do this together. <sighs> if only I had the courage to take your hand. That would have been for the best. <sighs> I repeat. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large, unidentified object has crash-landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumi-jo, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. of a sudden, and then you pull me away to a place like this? Stay still. Huh? What? Um... Um... I'm not ready for this. Found it. Odd place to be shot. Whoa. What is that? An activation switch. It's used to call your sentinel. Don't move. That should do it. If what 426 said is true, that's all I need to do. I registered my sentinel. Sentinel number 15. It's a robot used to fight the Daimos. It was mine, but it's in better hands with you. It really was worthless in the end. Don't say that. Fuyusaka, I... Huh? Never mind. It's nothing. Just forget what Morimura said, all right? Believe in yourself. Thank you. 